He has no business staying in the United States of America. We need him. If all the brains we have go to America, then we have a serious problem. He has played a critical role in, 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 in that particular aspect, in building a, an alliance of, of, of people with a, with a common voice and a common vision of what kind of society we should have, not only in Kenya, in Africa, but also in the world. Ngugi Wathiongo is a symbol of freedom, is a symbol of courage, is a symbol of uh, liberation. Listen, they have come back. Our children will come back. Ngugi Wationgo had been in exile for 22 years, fleeing the repressive one-party dictatorship of President Daniel Arab Moy. In 2002, democracy triumphed in Kenya urging Gugi and his wife Njeri to prepare for their homecoming. They wanted to contribute to the rebuilding of democracy in Kenya, perform a traditional wedding called Ngorario, and launch the original Gikuyu version of Ngugi's new book, The Wizard of the Crow. I followed them with my camera to see the difference between Googie's real homecoming and the theme of homecoming in his fiction. The world is us, ours. We are part of that world. We have led the world before in ideas. We can do so again if we believe in ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>